Hi, this is Marty and welcome back for part two. As you can see, the only difference between um, part one and part two, or the, the screen, the, the, the light board that was in one versus two is right here. Okay, um, so what, what you have here is you have age and you have a scale. The important thing to remember about the scale and, and basically, uh, well, I might as well, you know, be concrete now again. Uh, when can narcissistic personality disorder, as a noun, uh, be uh, diagnosed and pinned on a an individual? Uh, that would be never, never, never. Um, and the reason why is because uh, you are calling someone you're 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 calling someone a very serious noun. And because it's a scale and it ranges, we are ever changing. So those who think that narcissistic personality disorder and all of the other things can't be changed is just, it's false. It's false. <laughs> okay. When you reach nine and tens and, and malignant and sociopaths and psychopaths, they're, 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 it's not that they're rare, they just go through life like a wrecking ball. You, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and seven, eight, and nines, you know, you know, eight and nines do it too. But when you get to seven, eight, and I mean, who cares about diagnosing them? You, you know what I mean? They're just destroying everybody and everything. But they can still change. They can. It's ultra rare. It is. I'll agree with the academics and I'll agree with everyone else. But with that being said, all right, um, what you have here is uh, age and a scale. This is now in the form of a clock, okay? Now, the difference between uh, th this clock or what looks like a clock and the age one is that the age one only spins in a counter, I'm sorry, in, in, in a clockwise motion, which is depicted by the arrow. So it's one, two, three, four, five, okay? Now, the scale, this one, it rotates both ways as someone goes through life. Okay, you see what, see what I've done? Okay, so if you put this scale on top of this one and you were able, and there was a, a, there was a transparency and you could see the age, you could theoretically move the scale to someone's age for appropriate, normal behavior. And as things come into their life with, and again, with, with regards to planetary narcissism, the, the outer diameter of who we are, like it, what encompasses everything about us, it, it can't grow, right? So as we go through life in our age and we get older, we're never getting younger. We're always moving through time and getting older. We're aging. The scale can move based on environment what happens to us whether it's good or bad like for example you ever met someone who got super successful what happened to him huge ego the scale moved age didn't and as they go through life and get older is the scale staying the same and moving with them right or growing <laughs> oh man i so can you see how like really good that is at giving you an idea of, of what, what, you're, what you're dealing with, either the reflection in the mirror, either yourself or you, okay? We have um, the people pleaser on the far left is destructive, it's unhealthy, okay? And then we have the malignant and the socio and psychopaths on the far right, definitely not healthy. In my mind's eye, I believe, I truly do, that we never want to be here and stuck. We want to evolve. We want to change. Not to normal. Not stuck in the middle. We want to be able to use malignant narcissism when we need to, to protect us. That's what it's there for. <laughs> oh my God. What do you think your subconscious inner self, your soul is doing? 
is trying to protect you. The problem is, is that if you don't understand what true empathy is, and if you've been abused so bad, you're so out of whack, your inner self, because you don't talk to it, your conscious mind, you suppress it. So it stops talking, it just dies. And that's what the, and that's the difference between, I think, what the academics and the, and the, and the therapists don't understand. I, oh man, okay. The entire world, it appears to me, is determining that the inner self and its ability and its ability to survive and strengthen and harden to get through the abuse is a bad thing. <laughs> it's not. It's the world around us. It's, it's everything else that comes in contact with it that's pushing and pulling on us that isn't allowing us to cry. Society, not telling us, okay, fine, look at the definition of empathy in the dictionary. What's the definition? Defin def the true definition of empathy, empathy per everyone else except me, <laughs> apparently, is the ability to see other people's pain. Well, I got to be dramatic. How the fuck can I see other people's pain if I ignore mine? I've said that in other videos. <laughs> I get so I get so frustrated because I'm thinking about all the academics and all the people. Anyway, I shouldn't. That's kind of soapbox standing up on a soapbox, and I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. It's it's wrong of me. I apologize. It, 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 it's wrong. But I get so frustrated. I, I don't know what else to say. Okay. All right. The reason for this video, part two was to complete this and to show you the scales of age and the personality disorders. And by the way, we're not talking about OCD, like really crazy stuff, like really, really crazy deep stuff. Okay. All right. I know somebody, this is, I just want to, I just want to take a side note and do this. Okay. I know someone who iron, the, the, the curling iron, and the, 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 the iron for ironing. Okay, so here's what happened. Um, I heard this story. Uh, she uh, curls her hair, leaves the iron, checks it, uh, goes um, in her car, leaves, and did I unplug it? What did I do? And it really bothers her. So, so, the, um, so, the ther so she goes to the therapist, right? And the therapist says, well, what do you do? And she says, I unplug it and I take it with me. Do you know what the therapist said? The therapist said nothing. Got a prescription pad out and wrote drugs. I said, why? What are you talking about? Why did you get drugs? Well, because it was normal to wonder if you turned it off, but it wasn't normal to take it with you. Oh my God. Does it make you happy to take the curling iron with you? Yes. Then what's the big deal? Take it with you. Are you looking at it to make sure it's not plugged into what's in your car? Totally different issue. When you get to work and it's in your car, do you, when you, get, when you, when you go to work, come back out to your car and see if it's hot? That's a different story altogether. You see where I'm going? Okay. Normal versus, okay. So this, this took a very, very short second part. All right. When can narcissistic personality disorder be diagnosed? Uh, when is irrelevant because it cannot be diagnosed as a noun that you are a narcissist. And the reason why is because narcissism is a scale and it changes and it can be beat. If you want to make an argument that narcissistic personality disorder can be diagnosed and it can be diagnosed at a specific age and the academics and the therapists have depicted an age, what they are looking for is the malignant narcissist or the sociopath or the psychopath.
And for that, you are correct. I will never argue that point. Malignant narcissists and sociopaths and psychopaths are rarely diagnosed. They are rarely seen in the wild. They are rare. Now, what is not rare, sad, but what is not rare is all the people that are all the way to the end of that scale and all the way to there. That's not rare. That's everyday life. And that's why we're here. That's why I'm doing all of this. That's why we're here. Everyday life. My entire life and everyone in it has been there. I only know one malignant and that is my stepfather. When can narcissistic personality disorder be diagnosed? If so, when? If not, why? Narcissistic personality disorder cannot be diagnosed unless you are dealing with a malignant narcissist or a sociopath or a psychopath. There are no scales as it relates to sociopath and psychopath in comparison to the scale of narcissism and or the people pleaser type individuals. It's a scale. So therefore it can't be diagnosed until you get to malignant narcissist. So therefore malignant narcissist should be its own category separate from narcissism. But because the academics like to, I don't know what, but create these things. I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. Never have. I never will. So be it. But what they do is uh, they basically, uh, by their own definition, by its own scale, and I've adopted it. When you're dealing with malignant sociopath, psychopath, you absolutely uh, can diagnose it. And anyone who tells you that it's diagnosed at a certain age, uh, when you're dealing with malignant sociopath, psychopath, uh, there is no age appropriate. It's not 18. It is when a person shows malignant sociopath psychopathic behavior on an ongoing basis. Anything under 25, it's going to be, oh my God, so evident that this person is going to be doing things that no healthy individual would do. So it's very easy to see. They've already committed horrendous crimes. They've already hurt, they've already hurt other people. I mean, what are we talking about here? What are we talking about? <laughs> okay, <laughs> oh, man. All right, the the eighteen year old malignant sociopath psychopath is not sitting down with you at Christmas dinner next to you next to your daughter. <laughs> he's just he's just not. <laughs> All right, okay. Other than that, it is absolutely false. An individual with NPD cannot be diagnosed at any age when it's not malignant, certainly not sociopath, and certainly not psychopath. Have I proved it? Yes, I have. Here's the proof. Because it's a scale and it moves and twists back and forth, and because age never stops moving forward, because as we move through life, we are not set in stone, and and, and because we are entering into other people's lives and other people enter our lives, depending on what happened to us at age 0 to 1, 1 to 5, 5 to 8, 8 to 12, 12 to 18 to 21 and beyond, okay, we are continuously being bombarded by abuse and stimulus that changes this scale. And this scale is our inner self and its ability to protect ourselves from those outside forces. So the answer is, it cannot be. And there's the proof. 
End of story. If you want to be closed minded and negative, then everything I've said is completely wrong. And what is one of the definitions of narcissistic personality disorder? What's one of the traits? The inability to see someone else's point. The inability to engage in a conversation with someone else's point and to be able to maturely communicate your feelings, hear their feelings, to be able to absorb what they're saying and to be able to repeat it back to them without defending or attacking and then to be able to present your point and for them to be able to do the same. This is Marty, and we'll see you in the next video.